This video shows you how to replace this banner with the custom banner that you have already created using Canva. To get started, click on Edit in the upper right corner. That's going to open this page in Edit View. I like to make my edit view a little bit bigger. Over in the lower right corner below the text editor, click on those dots and you can drag it to make it bigger. That's kind of helpful. Now, click on the banner that you want to remove and select delete on your keyboard. It's now gone. To add your banner in the toolbar, select the images icon and choose upload image. Click on upload image, browse for the image that you just created in Canva and select open. In the alt text field, this is very important, this is for accessibility purposes, you're going to describe the image. Now what you type here always depends on two things. It depends on the image and the context in which it's used. Essentially the alt text is a textual description of the image. So think about what its purpose is. The purpose of your banner is primarily to communicate the text that you see in the banner. So I'm going to type the text in the banner into the alt text uh, field and then select Submit. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to show you another little trick here that makes your image responsive. So let me, first of all, let me show you how this is going to function. I'm going to scroll down and just click Save. So this is how a student would see it. Obviously this page is not done yet, but let me show you how this image behaves if your students have a smaller screen than yours. Let's make our screen smaller. Do you see how it starts to just cut off the image? That's because the image size is not responsive. I'm going to show you how to change it to responsive. Click on edit again. Now we're going to toggle over to the HTML view of the code. So we want to click on this icon in the lower right corner that says click or shift click for the HTML editor. So I'm going to click there. Now this is actually your page but in code view. We're going to go up to the top and we're looking for the image I just inserted. It's going to be preceded by this. It says IMG. And what we're looking for are the dimensions of the image you're not going to find them and I'm purposefully pointing that out to you because I don't know why but you're just not. So here's what we're going to do. Go back go back to the edit view, click on the image and just nudge it a little bit. Do you see how the dimensions show up in the lower right corner now? So right now it says 1188 by 297. Okay. I'm going to go back to the HTML view by clicking on the HTML icon in the lower right corner again. Now if we go find that image again, there's the IMG. Now you'll see that there's width and height. The width we don't want it set to 1188. We want to change it to a percentage. I want my banner to stretch across 100% of my screen. So I simply took out just the numbers 1188 and put it back with 100%, 100%. Notice that the quotes are still there. That's very important. Now I'll go back to the other view. You'll see the banners there and we're going to click Save. I'm going to show you how it behaves differently. Now if the screen gets smaller, the image gets smaller too. Isn't that awesome? That's a super helpful tip. 